Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the second segment of my interview with His Excellency, the Ambassador of Bangladesh to Egypt, Mr. Wahid Rahman. Thank you. I'm Nancy Sarah Barakat. Let's start again. When was the last high-level visit between uh, Egypt and Bangladesh? Or, and are there any plans for high-level visits in the near future? Uh, yes, uh, the last visit uh, uh, our uh, Honorable Prime Ministers uh, in 2009, mm. when she came in Shamal Sheikh to attend the NEM uh, summit. Mm. He also visited uh, here and also have a bilateral discussion with his counterpart here. Right. Our uh, fisheries and livestock ministers, uh, our uh, religious uh, ministers, and also foreign ministers mm. uh, visited uh, uh, Egypt uh, in the just 2014-2013. Uh, uh, but bilaterally, exclusive bilateral relations uh, it was happened in 1998 and 1998 uh, and 2004. Right. Uh, uh, the Egyptian foreign ministers, Egyptian vice president visited Bangladesh in the D8 summit. Mm. Uh, you know this, the Bangladesh and Egypt is a member of developing eight. Uh, um, developing eight, D D8, uh, the, uh, we are member and every meetings uh, in different capitals and meet uh, each other uh, to share their experience yeah. and, uh, and the pragmatic uh, step you must have that is happening. Are there any uh, bilateral um, high-level meetings planned for the future? Of course. Um, it will uh, depend on the Egypt, uh, Egyptian side. Egypt, Egypt now 
in, in, in the crossroad, I can say. And uh, now the priority, uh, Egyptian priority uh, is a economic, uh, basically, and security mm. also. And Egypt, the politically, they have uh, concluded their elections, for national parliament, which is very important uh, component for uh, democracy and, the, uh, and also the uh, important issue for the state mm. of uh, uh, activities. This is uh, now is completed uh, mm. by, uh, by the leaderships. It's complete the all things, constitution as well, also built. Now, uh, there's come to things, other corporations. Right. Uh, Egypt is now ready, I think, and he has to engage more proactive rules in the Asian countries. Right. Uh, already, uh, already President uh, uh, Sisi, he visited a, a number of Asian countries for cooperation, for investment, for trade, commerce, and other cooperations, scientific cooperations, uh, economic cooperations. Uh, he has also uh, met his in the African uh, so number of countries for uh, for uh, for uh, for cooperation and development each others. That is the time. Now uh, we can think, and we have a um, by this time 2014 we have uh, signed an agreement with Egypt. Uh, with the scientific and technical cooperation agreement. Right. Under, under this uh, scientific and technical cooperation, we can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, now uh, we, we are ready to do this. Right. Yeah. Apart from this, uh, we have uh, uh, 2013, uh, Egypt Bangladesh signed an agreement, MOU, uh, between the uh, two foreign office consultations. Mm. Uh, as, which is very important tools for uh, for diplomacy. Uh, two foreign office consultation can discuss, can explore all the areas of the countries, which Egypt, uh, this sector or uh, this sector which is Egypt is strong. Uh, of course, we can get uh, support cooperation from that. Aye. The the areas which are Bangladesh is uh, strong. We can. Uh, cooperate with the Egypt. Mm -hmm. with this can you name these areas of cooperation? Uh, that for you example, there is a, a ample scope uh, for the agriculture sectors, right. uh, which I identified. The, our economy based on the agriculture. Mm. The Egyptian uh, society, of course, uh, that is a uh, agriculture is one of the uh, one of the uh, areas mm. uh, for the agriculture sectors. Egypt, Egyptian. Uh, uh, Agriculture Ministry and the, the, the gift of Nile, you see mm. this, the, the Egypt is the gift of Nile. The Nile River uh, is a gift for gods, the nature, I can say, uh, which the, uh, the economy, uh, agriculture are based on that river. Uh, that is a irrigation, for example. Right. Is it very strong in, in irrigation systems? How use the Nile River to, for cultivation? Mm -hmm. And uh, digging the canals uh, is a very scientific and organized, right. uh, which is not in uh, in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And also agriculture food processing is it also very strong? Food processing and irrigations, but uh, both uh, both of them I is not expert in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. But Bangladesh uh, agriculture it is a production is very champion. Right. Uh, we, we product three times in, in a year, uh, all, all the crops. Uh, for example, this, this is a, uh, the agriculture production, rice production and wheat and others uh, production is a, is a double, triple to some extent. For example, in 1971, during our liberation, uh, we have no sufficient food sufficient right. with the 75 million people. Now is, uh, is Bangladesh population is double, 160 million people, right. but we have food sufficient. The same land we use uh, these three times uh, crops mm -hmm. and produce a lot of things and we have, we, uh, now Bangladesh is food sufficient uh, in agriculture sector, not only this, we export rice even other countries. Mm. That is the great revolution in our uh, uh, rice production in Bangladesh, right. which we can share our experience uh, in Egypt, which right. is neat for mm -hmm. that field is very important, mm -hmm. and and I think that is very good for the economy. 
uh, at any 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 time they have faced. If the food security is enough for any country, he cannot uh, uh, he can move forward other sectors. That is one another uh, aspect. The other sectors which I think is uh, very important uh, for international trade. Uh, for example, Bangladesh is the ready-made garments, right. RNG, uh, is a number two in the world in terms of uh, export volume. Mm -hmm. After China, Bangladesh is the second country which export ready-made garment, garments with 32 billion markets. Right. Uh, Bangladesh earn uh, for foreign currency. Uh, that is a, a thing. Uh, that is a sector. Uh, is a uh, is, is a ready-made garment sectors. Uh, Bangladesh uh, entrepreneurs, Bangladesh uh, experience, skilled workers can facilitate the Egyptian uh, uh, country Egypt uh, to establish their uh, garment factory in, in the year. Already there is a uh, three four Bangladeshi entrepreneurs are established garment factories in Alexandria. Okay. Yeah. And the other peoples also, because Bangladesh over 6,000 garments industry at present. Right. It is situated. No, no further expansion is possible. Now uh, we can, they can look at the Egyptian market. Mm. Uh, Egyptians, uh, Egypt for the, uh, for the, uh, for the investment uh, place. Mm. This is, uh, this is another uh, good uh, prospects and future uh, for, uh, for but because the Egypt, Egypt is a is also a good market. It's right. a 90 million uh, million peoples here, just half of Bangladesh. is is very good uh, in Africa countries. 90 million people, I think, is a big number mm -hmm. in, a, in a single country. So the domestic market itself is good. So many businessmen from Egypt nowadays uh, visit Bangladesh to uh, procure some ready-made garments right. and bring back to Egypt. The if uh, any, with the help of Bangladesh entrepreneurs or local entrepreneurs or mm -hmm. other countries investors, if uh, uh, if they established uh, in garments factory uh, in, in the free fort area, that would be the unique for uh, for for the economy of Egypt. It will contribute a lot of money uh, for foreign currency for the Egypt because Egypt has the facilities for agua, African growth. Right. They have the facility to go. Uh, to the European market as well as North uh, American, uh, uh, Canada and American markets is quota free. Right. Uh, they, they have the facilities, which is Bangladesh have no. Bangladesh have, have no, uh, no quota free. Mm. Bangladesh has to pay taxes. If it is built, uh, uh, make here the industries, the sectors, is a small uh, factories, SME sectors, Egypt can get the facilities. Right. And which is very uh, lucrative for any businessman. Mm. And Egypt, uh, Egypt people, uh, Egypt governments, and and the entrepreneurs can uh, can uh, re request and can uh, offer the international community to come here for investment. I think Bangladeshi entrepreneurs will come. Definitely. Right. Right. And it, it is a second, uh, I, I think, uh, a, a sector uh, for cooperations. Right. <laughs>
to practice more and be much better than last time. is it that we encourage the private sector, the entrepreneurs, the businessmen in both countries to invest uh, in each other's economies? It, it, is, it is a very common practice uh, for, uh, for a promotion of uh, uh, your uh, uh, promotional activities. You uh, some, uh, send some uh, business people here. Uh, you, you business people means those who are uh, initiative, to take initiative. They can visit they can meet uh, the, uh, their counterpart in Bangladesh right. uh, through meetings, through seminars, through trade fair, uh, so private personal uh, engagement and trading bodies, trade bodies, chamber of commerce they meet and Bangladesh embassy in Cairo and similarly Egyptian embassy in Dhaka can facilitate to, to meeting, sitting and that can be a, a, a interaction between the uh, two countries, businessmen, right. and form a big things. Indeed. Your Excellency, I wanted, since we're talking about the economy, I wanted you to tell us a little bit more about the status of the Bangladeshi economy. Yeah. Bangladesh uh, economy uh, is a booming. Uh, in a sense, uh, uh, Bangladesh is, uh, you know this, uh, 15 years back, and uh, we, uh, we have a, a, somebody in the poor country, least developed countries. Right. But now Bangladesh, as per UN uh, index, uh, United Nations uh, Secretary General announced the Bangladesh become now a lower middle income country. Right. And, and under the President, uh, under the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's initiative uh, is a vision 2021. Bangladesh will become a, a middle income country. Mm. Uh, because uh, his, uh, uh, his economic uh, policies, economic programs to digitalize the countries and educations uh, and, the, and the health sectors and ICT sectors and uh, others uh, in industrial sectors, all these sectors, uh, which uh, uh, for example, another sector is the women empowerment. Mm. You know this, the Bangladesh Prime Minister and leader of oppositions and even a big number of uh, female are the, uh, are the political leader of, of the countries, right. is a driving force. And so many, uh, for example, government industries uh, in Bangladesh. Is it
90% are female workers. Yeah. And so many governments and non-governments, judicials, administrations, agriculture, education, all the sectors uh, is a female uh, who are uh, before is a burden for the society, mm -hmm. burden of the family. Now are the uh, earning monies. Right. And they, are, they, are, they participate in the uh, development activities of the countries uh, is a government sector and private sectors. Mm -hmm. Now is a vibrant and no, now you cannot differentiate the men and women. Right. Uh, before uh, women is very weak. Mm. They are not contributing any uh, their countries and their families even. Now uh, female they, they contribute even uh, better than even men in political and others uh, development activities. Right. Uh, so uh, this uh, economy, now Bangladesh is, uh, you know this, the Bangladesh uh, is a 28 billion US dollar, we have a reserve right. governments, which is very, very, uh, and, uh, very uh, encouraging for our economic development. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, taken a lot of mega project, lot of uh, uh, a small medium enterprises and also a uh, lot of uh, uh, programs in the in, in the in the sea also we are exploring our gases oils and minerals mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, we have opened the avenues uh, for and education uh, we have a lot of in, uh, institutions and all, all are modern and high tech technology it related oriented and uh, in the grassroots level in the remote area we have digitalized the all the schools uh, schools and uh, for the school children, primary and high school, uh, all all are provided by the government free uh, 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 free educational uh, instruments, right. books and other things, mm -hmm. all provided by the governments. Mm -hmm. taken. We have the uh, economic uh, we are very much sound now. Uh, we can feed them the peop peoples. We can educate them. We can transportation and others, everything is, is, you can see 10 years before Bangladesh and now Bangladesh is quite a difference. Right. Islami Bank Bangladesh Limited IBBL will continue to invest in the country's rural economy as it sees strong growth potential in the rural areas and microfinance disbursement. Muhammad Abdul Mannan, Managing Director and Chief Executive of IBBL, said most Bangladeshis live in villages and are largely remaining out of the banking system. More than 80% of Bangladesh's 80 million accounts are based in Dhaka and Chittagong cities. IBBL, which was established in March 1983 as the first Islamic bank in the Southeast Asia, is the largest Islamic bank in Bangladesh. There are eight full-fledged Islamic banks and 17 conventional banks with Islamic windows, out of 56 scheduled banks currently operating in Bangladesh. Bangladesh's Islamic banking sector makes up 35% of the global Islamic banking business and IBBL alone represents 25% of the total Islamic banking activities in the world. IBBL has a customer base of 11 million account holders out of a total 44 million global Islamic account holder basis and a deposit base exceeding 640 billion and an investment portfolio of 560 billion. Despite political agitation early in 2015 that adversely affected transport services, exports and private investment, growth in Bangladesh held up well because of the brisk domestic demand boosted by higher worker remittances, private sector wages and public investment. Inflation moderated in 2015, much as forecast in 2015 earlier at a 7.4%, reflecting large public stocks and food grains, normal weather, a support of monetary policy and lower global food and commodity prices that a steady exchange rate allowed to be passed through. In your Excellency, who are your major uh, trading economic partners? Uh, our uh, major uh, trading partner uh, is uh, now it is 10 billion US dollar, uh, US dollar with China. Right. is a major uh, economic uh, and trading partner mm -hmm. and after the uh, the uh, second is India our uh, close neighbor uh, with a six billion uh, US dollar we have a trading partner right. the major and also of course Europe our trading partners we have exported a lot of 
um, garments uh, to the European market, America, Canada, Australia, mm. uh, uh, and also Russia, mm. and all these countries. Uh, we, we, we have a, a trade relations. Right. And, uh, yeah. Your Excellency, we spoke uh, earlier about some of the major global challenges. You mentioned um, global warming, but I guess also terrorism is another uh, major global challenge. How concerned is Bangladesh by this particular phenomenon? Terrorism nowadays is a challenging, uh, not particular for Bangladesh also, mm. it is a, uh, challenging for the entire uh, world and Bangladesh is not the exceptional and Egypt of course not of course. the exceptional. Uh, terrorism uh, is a, uh, is playing in different countries in different ways. Right. In our countries uh, terrorism uh, uh, is a originated by religious uh, uh, based. Uh, some Islamic uh, 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 political organizations and component mm -hmm. element they terrorize the society uh, uh, for, for their uh, ideology, establish their ideology, Islamic countries like this, which is not accepted by the uh, entire peoples. Right. Uh, it is 5%, 6% peoples uh, are, uh, are committed that terrorism. But in our country society, uh, terrorism has international component now. Right. They have linked uh, uh, and across the boundary, even their countries, uh, in, in, in their global networks, uh, they have established, uh, the, for example, Daesh, yes. uh, for example, uh, which we call I ISIS. Mm. Uh, there is organizations which create entire Middle East destabilized uh, in, in, to, in the name of their, uh, their uh, self rule and their ideology. To establish these mm. uh, things, which is not uh, accepted by the international community, and Bangladesh is a signatory of uh, combat terrorism under UN. Right. And also, we have a <coughs> some regional, sorry, regional organization, SARC, uh, BMSTEX, and other uh, AMET. There is a lot of regional uh, and 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 international organization we are member. Uh, we are working. Uh, with, with uh, that organization to combat, to uh, eradicate the terrorism uh, right. in our country and all other things. And Bangladesh uh, uh, terrorist uh, peoples is there, some peoples are uh, religious uh, Islamic militants, mm. but uh, we see have no international link uh, as right. of now. So it's local. Uh, it is the local and uh, Bangladesh government has uh, control handle these issues. All right. How, how has the government been able to do that? Governments have taken a uh, lot of uh, uh, social programs uh, and also political drive uh, the, uh, to find out the root cause of terrorism. Why these peoples? Right. That is, we find that the education systems, mm. uh, some uh, in our country there is a two, three types of uh, education uh, systems. One is religious oriented, is called madrasa, mm -hmm. uh, we call it. Uh, instead of school, college. Uh, we have a national curriculum, we have a international uh, curriculum in universities also, right. but side by side we have a religious institution also, right. who, uh, who, uh, which is very uh, uh, not, uh, uh, the system of education is not a uh, standard, international standard. Mm -hmm. They have religiously, they have motivated that's, that's uh, peoples and they become the uh, terrorize the society and some people. Right. And government has very, very tough zero tolerance about uh, about that education and, right. and the peoples. So how important, for example, when it comes to something like this, like improving the educational system and so on and, uh, and so forth, how do you think, for example, Bangladesh can cooperate with Al-Azhar, for example, to spread uh, tolerance and the moderate uh, Islamic thought? Yes, uh, is a big uh, good questions uh, for the role of Al-Azhar. Uh, Al-Azhar, uh, they are conducting their educations, uh, their uh, teachings uh, is, uh, is very much uh, 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 appreciable mm -hmm. and their education is moderate, tolerance uh, religiously and, uh, and not, not the fundamental 
liaison, uh, there is no scope, and they are peace clubbing uh, because the Islam, Islamic uh, values, uh, we of course uh, maintain the peace and uh, and tolerance with others peoples. Right. Which uh, Egypt, uh, Egypt, uh, the Al Azhar University is a uh, is a right place, mm -hmm. uh, right uh, institute. Uh, we believe. Uh, I I met also the the uh, Sheikh Al Azhar. Uh, once a time, mm -hmm. and uh, I understand uh, his role and institutions uh, uh, give the correct uh, directions to the Egyptian society, not only the Egyptian mm -hmm. society, it is the entire Bangladeshi student also studied uh, here, Al-Azhar is, uh, is a more than thousand years old institutions, yes. is a prestigious institutions and it has a worldwide reputations and is a teaching. We must appreciate and uh, th th this is the right track and this is the true um, Islamic uh, Institute mm -hmm. and, and their members and I, I, I frowned uh, for uh, the Al-Azhar institution's role uh, present. You actually say a couple of weeks back uh, the military chiefs of staff from members of the Saudi-led 34-nation coalition uh, met in the Saudi capital Riyadh to discuss uh, countering terrorism. First of all, I wanted to ask you how you view the importance of such a coalition of the defense ministers of the OIC. Uh, yes, uh, the recently uh, Saudi initiative for uh, 34 members Islamic countries um, uh, organizations uh, among the Muslim countries to combat the terrorism uh, where, where it is. Uh, Bangladesh in principle uh, 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 support these um, initiatives and because uh, we are committed, we are already signatory of uh, uh, a signatory of UN and other regional SARC and other things to combat terrorism. Uh, it, it, it is the one of the uh, one of the foreign uh, and local and domestic uh, policy mm. uh, f to eradicate the uh, terrorism. So the recent development uh, uh, Saudi initiative uh, for uh, for uh, combating terrorism, uh, 34 uh, National Bangladesh is a, a member, and but. Uh, at this moment, uh, the constitutionally, we can not send uh, the, any combat uh, military contingent right. to fight mm. uh, be, because the, the constitution have to be uh, amended. Right. It needs to be. But uh, we can non-combat. For example, any uh, problems uh, uh, by the terrorist uh, country or terrorist organization deal, uh, we, can, uh, we can take part. Right. For non-combat, for example, supplies, uh, communications, and intelligence, uh, perhaps, intelligence, yeah. and all of this we can uh, we can share and we can uh, part and parcel. Right. We have no problems with it because we, we, we are under UN. We are we are committed to do this, mm. and it may be globally, it may be regionally, it may be locally, right. whatever it may be. Uh, it uh, among the against the terrorist, we are zero tolerance. Yes. We must react, country will react. So this initiative is uh, still not clear, but we are members. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we participate in uh, different meetings. It is strange to see that Pakistan and Bangladesh were a single nation before 1971. You can easily distinguish between a Pakistani and a Bangladeshi by looking at their face. 99% Bangladeshis are dark-looking people, while most of Pakistanis are pale, white-looking. Bengali culture is also very different from Pakistani culture. The language is also different. There are very mixed feelings about Pakistan amongst Bangladeshis, and a Bangladeshi, they can say most of them, dislike Pakistanis, since the army killed and raped many of their Bangladeshi civilians in 1971. Bangladeshi people are very emotional about the liberation war. The relationship between these two nations is very cold. What should be done to improve the relationship between these two nations? Officially, they can apologize for inhumane crimes the army did to civilians during the liberation war. Meanwhile, India and Bangladesh have very warm relationships. India and Bangladesh are South Asian neighbors. Generally, relations have been friendly, although sometimes there are border disputes. The historic land boundary agreement was signed on the 6th of June 2015, which opened a new era in the relations and further stopped all irritants in ties.
their common members, especially in the Commonwealth. In particular, Bangladesh and East Indian states of West Bengal and Tripura are Bengali speaking. Bangladesh has a High Commission in New Delhi with consulates in Mumbai and Kolkata. India has a High Commission in Dhaka with a consulate in Chaktagong. In a survey, 70% of Bangladeshis expressed a favorable opinion and perception of India. Historically and culturally, the two nations have been considerably close to each other. How do you think it's going to be different from the existing coalitions in fighting terrorism? Existing, uh, ex existing coalitions, uh, what does you mean? But existing coalitions, individually, every country have the programs right. to combat, mm -hmm. uh, combat terrorists. But in the global scenario, it is UN, United Nations. We have a when well, you've uh, got the U.S. coalition, coalition in, in uh, fighting Daesh in Syria and Iraq, how will this, the OIC coalition, be different from the coalition of the countries fighting Daesh in Syria and Iraq? Now, is a uh, Syrian and also uh, in the in this Middle East region, mm -hmm. Syria. Uh, I Iraq and uh, even in uh, Yemen, right. uh, even uh, uh, nowadays in, uh, in Libya also. Uh, the, uh, Libya, uh, Iraq and Syria, there is a Daesh, mm -hmm. it is called, mm -hmm. the Islamic State we call. The other uh, parts in Yemen, uh, for example, this is a difference right. little bit. Uh, to fight uh, the terrorist uh, and to save the, the present uh, elected uh, governments in uh, in Yemen, mm -hmm. uh, it is a Saudi initiative uh, and Gulf initiative uh, to fight against this uh, uh, terrorist and other uh, mm -hmm. other form. It is also we support, but we are not actively participate right. because it is it is Saudi initiative with Gulf cooperations. Right. But for uh, in Syria, that is also uh, also international uh, internationally. It is a very uh, vulnerable at this moment and under the uh, under the Saudi initiative uh, this uh, forum uh, may, may, may do effective role uh, but not yet now clear mm -hmm. what is the modalities what is the others uh, terms and conditions it is not yet but it is under discussion right. and who will the part the other initiative also has taken uh, to uh, to fight that terrorist uh, uh, in the Egyptian president initiatives right. for uh, joint Arab force. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the all uh, uh, the Arab countries. It is of course um, we are not a members mm -hmm. because we are not Arab, but we support this. Right. All this any where, any any country have taken initiative to fight terrorists. We are with them. Mm -hmm. We support them. We encourage them. That is, uh, but but the difference. Uh, country to country, right. uh, and we have to uh, know the, what is the root cause of this right. uh, of this uh, yeah, right. uh, uh, problems. Mm -hmm. You have to identify it right. uh, because all these countries, for example, some uh, role uh, in 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 uh, in Egypt, so, uh, some role by the uh, by the Turkish, Iran, and uh, Syria also, and the Middle East Gulf countries. They, they, uh, their things are not equal. Right. Yeah, the, so, somewhere there is a difference. So, so we have, uh, we, we have uh, accommodated these things in, in a together, and we, f we think about this. We find out these things together. Right. That, uh, that we are very much open. Bangladesh is, is very much open to do this, mm -hmm. and we, uh, we uh, mental support, of course, we have, because we are committed. Uh, to fight the terrorist in, in any form, whatever, anywhere. That is uh, our policy. A Riyadh-based Islamic military alliance has been formed to fight terrorism. The coalition consists of 34 countries, including the Gulf states, a number of African countries, as well as Turkey, Egypt, Malaysia and Pakistan. The new alliance's initiatives could potentially include troops on the ground. Saudi Foreign Minister Aydel al-Jubair said there are discussions amongst countries that are currently part of the coalition, like Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, Qatar and Bahrain, about sending in some special forces into Syria. 
The countries here mentioned have decided on the formation of a military alliance led by Saudi Arabia to fight terrorism, with a joint operation center based in Riyadh to coordinate and support military operations. Coalition's headquarters will be based in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's capital. Currently, there are a number of active coalitions fighting terror groups such as Daesh in Syria and Iraq. The U.S.-led coalition has gathered the support of at least 65 countries. However, various media reports have claimed that fewer than a dozen states are actually contributing, with American jets carrying out most of the strikes. Moreover, the coalition has received international criticism for being ineffective. The U.S.-led coalition's airstrikes in Syria have never received permission from Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to enter the country's airspace. Your Excellency, if you'll allow me to turn now to culture and perhaps ask you a little bit about the cultural ties that bind Bangladesh and Egypt. Cultural uh, ties is a very big uh, thing. Uh, culture, the total way of life, uh, what I, as well as the law, law rules, regulations, everything, uh, men acquired as a member of a society, we, this is culture. The cultures, I mean, I cannot differentiate uh, the only things, the education right. or, uh, or uh, cultural activities, a song, uh, uh, is it performs the music, not only difference. Entire, uh, and entire uh, things, uh, we make a culture. So culturally, uh, we have sent a regular participation in the uh, Egyptian uh, Ministry of uh, uh, to tourism, they have invited Bangladeshi cultural troops sometimes, right. uh, folk music and, and the Supi Museum. Uh, and uh, last time in 2014, uh, we have participated Bangladeshi uh, two times in the Fayum International um, uh, of, uh, Supi Music. Right. Yeah, we, we, we participate. Right. We are always cooperative. But we have an uh, agreement. Uh, the, we have sent it to the Egyptian governments for, uh, for, for cultural agreements, which is uh, under uh, process. Right. Uh, I, I hope uh, it will be signed very soon, under which Bangladeshi student can study in Al-Azhar and other universities, right. the cultural agreement. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, that could be a, a big uh, things and very important tools for, uh, for uh, relationship, establish the relationship, the cultural uh, agreements. Uh, we, we have, it is 1990, we have signed this agreement, mm -hmm. but we, now it needs uh, to renewal and further some amendments needs to be, to, uh, to cater the, uh, the present uh, uh, demand. Right. That, that is. Your Excellency, can you introduce us to Bangladeshi culture? Bangladeshi culture, uh, we can uh, introduce, uh, uh, there is a, uh, we have a uh, good festivals, uh, Bangladesh uh, has a, uh, has a uh, it, it is a part of uh, uh, Bangladesh, it is a Indian subcontinent, we have a culture, we, uh, we have a, a, a national, uh, particular uh, uh, occasions for, uh, for, for example, Poyla Boishak in mm -hmm. Bangla. New Year. Uh, New Year, we have a, uh, some uh, traditional cultural uh, folk, uh, uh, folk uh, there is uh, activities and food, uh, is a costumes, mm. uh, all these uh, countries, man and is different shape. It is the original Bangladeshi culture and traditions. Right. Uh, there is a, a food, for example, uh, we can eat very sweet, uh, we can uh, uh, fish, rice mm. that is a part and parcel of our culture for mm. food habit so that uh, that occasions we can uh, traditionally uh, uh, the uh, the food habits is little bit uh, different from is it right. yeah and also we have traditional song traditional dance uh, and, and the, the uh, school and uh, young peoples they have uh, uh, the colorful uh, d dresses uh, is very much similar to the, and also economically also there is a uh, uh, culture uh, one New Year's we have all caused the previous um, uh, uh, loss and uh, 
uh, gain. Right. All all accounts have been closed uh, before the uh, New Year's. Right. And uh, after New Year's, the new uh, register, new uh, things, uh, new clothes, uh, new uh, f uh, items, uh, household items even change this. Right. That, that is the, on the traditional uh, Bangladeshi culture. Right. And uh, d this culture um, uh, song very much uh, the lyric and this uh, sound is very, very interesting and very uh, musical. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, people perform in the national televisions, national uh, auditorium, museum. They have a lot of programs at that day. Uh, and what are some of the most beautiful places to visit in Bangladesh? Uh, most beautiful places, of course, in the city and village, uh, the, the, the same, but different uh, directions. Mm. City uh, is a very, uh, uh, very uh, rich, rich, richest um, types of uh, cultural and other activities. Mm. In the village level, also uh, there is a lot of uh, village and town now. There is not big difference, right? Uh, because most of the villages not are not under the latest technology communication network in right. the countries. Uh, so, uh, uh, the remote uh, village and country life uh, is, is a village life uh, is totally uh, the same uh, as in, in, the, in the capital city or other cities. Mm -hmm. different. Uh, so, people celebrate this day uh, in, a, in a manner uh, wh whatever they, uh, they are living mm -hmm. and that, that things are performed. The Bangladeshi Cultural Group wants to keep the Bangladeshi youth, especially those who were born and informed about their culture and heritage. That is why on last Saturday they celebrated their country's Independence Day. Close to 80 members of the Bangladeshi community gathered at the Mina Cham at Tado Pavilion in Kilili Beach. It was a night of folk songs and speeches that denote patriotism and celebrating the 45th year of Bangladesh being an independent nation. This was the 19th year that the Bangladeshi community had celebrated their Independence Day on Saipan. BCG President Rakubul Islam Minto led his countrymen in the singing of the Bangladeshi National Anthem. Minto said every society in the world wants to have the next generation to continue its culture and tradition. He added that this is the reason why they also celebrate Bangladeshi's important festivals to introduce the youth the culture of their forefathers. He said that they also celebrate Victory Day on December 16th and Mother Language Day last February, and on April 14th they will be celebrating the Bengali New Year. It was in early 1990s when the first group of Bangladeshi came to Saipan to work. Their numbers swelled through the years, with some even starting their own families here. Bangladesh, then known as East Pakistan, declared its independence from Pakistan by founding leader Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in the late hours of March 25, 1971. Rahman became the country's first president and second prime minister. Your Excellency, for my final question, I'd like to ask you what you would want to achieve during your time here in Egypt as ambassador of Bangladesh. Yes, uh, well, uh, as an ambassador of Bangladesh, I, of course, uh, my priority uh, to, uh, to interactions um, and cooperations uh, should be work out and uh, for the betterment of our two people's business, mm -hmm. uh, of course, another uh, segment uh, to enhance the business relationships, export, import the two people's Already I have a, uh, a lot of meetings with the business community here and also Bangladeshi business uh, men uh, already visiting in the Cairo. Uh, at least uh, two or three people are visiting right. now. Uh, they have a, a good interaction with the Bangladeshi uh, businessman is a, uh, you know this Bangladesh jute. Hmm. Uh, this is the carpet, uh, the baseline of the carpet is jute made mm -hmm. in. Uh, there is a company, is a big ori company, is Oriental Weaver, for example. Right. It is one of the biggest company in Egypt. They imported uh, zoot from Bangladesh for their carpet right. base. So that, that is a, Bangladesh is a pioneer of jute productions. Uh, it, is a, uh, a, a, it is a golden fiber, we call it. Right. Uh, it is not jute, uh, the alternative name is golden fiber. Right. There is a petrodollar like this. Mm. Uh, 
uh, is very important and uh, Egypt is a, is, a, is a destination of our uh, uh, jute products in mm -hmm. here. Uh, this, this is another, another traditional long time uh, jute, jute is a natural fiber. Right. It, it, it is not a synthetic. Right. Uh, synthetic uh, uh, things can, uh, can uh, damage the uh, environment. It is environment uh, and by hazard, right. uh, synthetic. Uh, it, it, it is erosion, uh, soil uh, degradation uh, and, uh, and dangerous for the environment. Right. So uh, the natural fiber uh, jute uh, we have a uh, using uh, the polythene, instead of polythene bag, shopping right. bags, right. we are using the jute bags, right. which is uh, so very uh, absorbable, yeah. uh, natural friendly. So you, yeah, you have to increase economic yeah, increase, cooperation yeah, and especially also in, this field. in biodegradable, obviously, yeah, as yeah, you yeah, say, yeah. and environment. And also we participated uh, last year uh, uh, in our uh, jute, uh, Bangladesh jute mill corporations. Mm -hmm. They have participated in the Egyptian, uh, uh, what is called, uh, is a trade, trade fair. Mm -hmm. We have participated. And we have a good uh, markets for this right. jute. I thank you very much, Your Excellency, Mr. Wahid Rahman. Thank you very much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for this edition of The Ambassador. Do join us again next week, same time, same place, here on Now TV International. I'm Nancy Sarah Barakat, wishing you all a very good evening. Bye-bye.